right, so we're looking at angular momentum here, an application of uh, vectors. So the angular momentum, L, of an object of mass m moving with velocity v about a point O is this formula, where r is the position vector of the object from O. All right, so this is the angular momentum. R is the position vector of the object from O. So here's my origin. If the uh, object was here, then R would be the vector pointing to that. So that's what, what R is. Now M is the mass of the object and V is the velocity. So here's our example. Object mass 1.5 kilograms moving with a velocity of this 2i minus 2j. Calculate the angular momentum of this object when O, about O, when its position is given by this. So let's put in some of our uh, some of the things we know. We know that we need this formula, R times the scalar m, the mass v. Now R is our position vector, and its position is given by i plus 2j. And we times that by our mass, 1.5 kilograms, uh, times, I don't need the kg in there, times uh, the velocity, which is 2i minus 2j. So because we're just multiplying that uh, second bit by a scalar, it's 1.5 times 2, which is 3, uh, minus... Uh, 1.5 times 2, which is 3. So we're doing i plus 2j times 3i minus 3j. This is an application of the cross product, so we know how to do the cross product using determinants. Just make it very clear here, this vector times this vector, determinant time. All right, this is going to be a bit weird, but you end up with 0i, uh, 0j, minus 9k. All right, so that gives us an answer, final answer, oops, final answer of negative 9k. All right, so what that means for us is that if it's moving with velocity 2i minus 2j, the angular momentum, the momentum around that circle of point O is going to be negative 9k. Um, that's angular momentum, there's your example, follow along, you shouldn't have too much trouble with these ones.